Hi, this is Bill Spatrino. This is the weekend of leap year. And we should, when you hear this, the South Carolina primary should be about over. On Super Tuesdays coming up, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the stock market. Okay, we won't talk that much about sports because, you know, it's not as relevant. Um, first of all, with Bernie, this whole thing, you know, the fact that he won Nevada has scared the stock market. Okay, I know of people who have algorithms in the stock market. That's my thing. And what they do is no one believed Bernie was going to win by the margin he won. What? And I'm going to give you a statistic that's really shocking. You know, I'm a numbers person. Bernie won with white educated females. He beat Klobuchar and Warren. Okay, two. One's a Harvard professor. The other's a Yale graduate. Okay, lawyer. Okay, Bernie's for real. And I really think that what happened is the establishment, they realized that impeachment isn't working. They need to get Bernie off the papers. The best way to get Bernie off the papers is with this virus. Okay, folks, I'm just telling you something. You know, there's all these rumors. Rush Limbaugh thinks the Chinese put together this um, virus. I, folks, I just think that the virus... I have no proof, okay? But could the virus be something that China cooked up to try to use nefariously? Sure it could be. Who knows? We don't know, okay? What we do know is that it's being over-exaggerated. Congress is asking, they're trying to make Trump out to be bad, and now what they're trying to do is wreck the stock market, and they want to wreck the stock market so that they can say the economy's bad and people won't spend. I just had a couple relatives call me today. Me and my dad are going for one of my Spatrino fairs in Vegas. And he's going to try, they're trying to say, well, maybe dad shouldn't go. Folks, I'm just going to give you, I'm a numbers person, okay? When I tell you something, if it's my opinion, I'll say like I heard about what I think China's doing. I have no proof of that, okay? When I'm telling you about the real viruses, okay, is the flu. We get of cases of the flu in this country, we know of 200,000, okay? Of the 200,000 cases that we get, 200 to 250,000, about 30 to 35,000 die, okay? Now, most of those people are older, and a lot of them don't go to the doctor if they, you know, my dad will have the flu, he won't go. I had the flu a couple years ago, I didn't go, okay? It's not fatal most of the people that have died in China, first of all, half the males are smokers there, approximately. And a lot of them died that are, you know, if you're over 80 and you're a smoker, guess what? Any respiratory prop thing is going to get you. I just don't, the markets act because they don't know. And I'm telling you, a lot of the stock market drop, because I'm combining the stocks and the, and the, um, in the political, because they're interrelated, is because Bernie Sanders was not figured in to win at the rate that he is. Plus, Mike Bloomberg laid an egg. Okay, he stinks. Okay, do I like Mike Bloomberg? I think he could run the country. I don't. I. I would. I. I prefer Trump, but I prefer Mike Bloomberg over ninety percent of the Republicans. Okay, I want a businessman. Okay, that's what I want. Trump is is a hundred times better than Bloomberg, okay? He's not, is he an Italian? We have a name. It's like you're a pop, my grandma would say, this guy's a Papael. And I'd say, Grandma, what's a Papael? That's Mike Bloomberg. He just stands there. Elizabeth Warren is screaming at him the other night. I'd be going, look, fake Indian. You're making up this story about being pregnant. You made up that you were an Indian, okay? You're acting like you're my Mima and all this. You're a liar. And he should have just called her out, but he just stands there. See, some rich people, they don't, they have like rich white person's guilt. I I don't have it. I know a lot of my friends, they're wealthy too. That, they don't have any guilt. They're happy they're, they're who they are. I speak out and I will continue to speak out and keep giving you the truth machine. Me and my producer, Michael Stifler, we don't have any agenda. Somebody asked me, what's your agenda? 
My agenda is to tell the truth. I don't need advertising. I don't. I, I like you all. Watch, listen to the ads, and you're helping me spread the word. I want you to put my. When you hear this truth machine, I want you to send it. If you can send it to five or ten people, that helps me out. It's good. We're going to grow this thing. Okay. <clears throat> What's happening is. Bernie, by the way he won North, if Bernie's going to win white educated females, he's certainly going to win younger people, okay, and he wins younger people by a large, he won 69% of the vote under 30. You're not going to beat the guy, okay, it's not, there's, they're going into all the states on Super Tuesday, okay, Bernie could very easily, the the big prize is, I'm not going to sit here and go over each state. The big prizes are California, which Bernie's favored in, and Texas, okay, which Bernie's favored in. Bernie has a chance to beat Warren in Massachusetts, okay, and there's some other states in the South. My point is, Bernie is going to score higher than anybody on Super Tuesday. I My guess is that he's going to have 200 to 250 delegates more than everyone else, okay, and they're not going to be able to catch him, okay. They're just not. And one of my political guys, um, you know, we talked about whether people are going to drop out. He said, Billy, these people, they spent their whole life shooting for this. They don't, they're not going to drop out. They're not getting out of the race. Okay. So people are asking me who do I think is going to get out. I, I think Klobuchar is going to run out of money. But like Tulsi Gabbard ran out of money, she's still in. Um, I think that this is going to be after Super Tuesday. I think it's going to be between um, <clears throat> Bloomberg, Biden, and Bernie. Okay, the three Bs. Uh, the fake Indian, I got to think, is going to run out of money. Her ego might keep her in, her and Klobuchar. And, and, and Buttigieg, I, I just don't. I, the three of them, I don't see a path for them to get anywhere. The other three people have legitimate chances. But I just don't see it. But what's really happening is Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, you know, he's talking about all these undocumented cases. Fella, you got a bunch of undocumented people running around in your state. They're they're cramping on the floor. They're running around using needles. And, and, and they're homeless in the streets. And then you're... You're saying you don't understand this virus and this, folks, this virus kills about 3% of the people that have it, okay? The flu kills more, okay? I'm not saying I don't care about the virus or the virus is nothing. We don't know where the virus virus comes from. Is it manufactured? If it's manufactured, then it can't spread. See, the flu, we know the flu comes from people, okay? They have it, they carry it. And then you get it, okay? But this is just, the media has run. When we had Ebola how many years ago, Obama was the president. Obama killed, Ebola killed you, okay? This is, my friend Reagan wrote it on his page, a couple other people I know. Folks, this is the media doing, first of all, they want to go after Trump. And second of all, they don't want to, you see, they took Bernie right off the news between the stock market and, 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 and the coronavirus. You took Bernie right off the front page. Okay. I do think Bernie's going to lose in South Carolina, but I think he's going to be close. Biden's going to win. And then we're heading into, you know, I think Biden can win a couple Southern states. You know, the states that have the most African-Americans, Biden's going to do the best in. But they're just, you're running out of clock with them. And the two big prizes, Texas and California, I see Bernie winning majorities in both of them. Okay. We'll do a more analysis as we get closer. But I, this is Bernie's race to lose. And I think the algorithms on the stock market, algorithms, in case you don't know what they are, are computer programs that read the news and buy stocks. And there, they've penciled in a Bernie Sanders possibility for a nomination, and that's scaring people. I asked one of my political guys today, I said, what do you, he said, the Democratic Party's scared to death. There's a big donor named Bernie Schwartz, 
and he told Pelosi and uh, Schumer supposedly, "Look, you got to get it. You can't. We're not. I'm not putting, giving any money to Bernie Sanders." Okay, Bernie Sanders is a communist. Okay, if you want to vote for Bernie Sanders, you are not a very wise person. You're a moron. Okay, you're you're a moron. Okay, the guy cares about socialism. That's his thing. And communism. It's not just so. Socialism is our country. We take care of you in this country. If you don't have, if you, your appendix burst, we don't leave you on the on the thing because you didn't pay your health insurance. We subsidize you. We as a country, I pay more health insurance. Your employer pays more health insurance. We cha- We pay more to cover all the people that they got to work on for free. Okay. We subsidize these people. If you don't have any food, we subsidize you. You go to a shelter, you get food. You get aid in this country. We give you Section 8. We'll help you with your with your rent. We're socialists when it comes to that the part of it. This guy's a communist. He wants to take over health care. He wants to limit how much money. He said I, nobody should be a billionaire. Why? He said there's income inequality. You know why there's income inequality? The same way there's people in shape inequality. The people that work out and get in shape and eat right, they are thinner than the people that don't. That don't eat right, don't exercise, and do all the wrong things. That's the way it is. We, you didn't, we didn't create this. Under Trump, unemployment for African Americans, Hispanics, disabled people, all at all-time lows. The bottom 10% percentage-wise are doing better than the top 10%. Those are facts. These are numbers. I'm not making them up. Okay, you can look it all up. They gave about the flu. Someone said, Billy, how do you know how many people die from the flu? You can go on the website and, the, and see it. In the last 10 years, it's ranged between 12,000 and 60,000 people a year have died from the flu. I didn't know that. If someone would have bet me, I would have, I would have lost money. And that's what we should be worrying about. Okay, just keep washing your hands. I'm not telling you that I, I'm not minimizing risk. What I'm saying is I'm not staying in the house because of it. Okay? It's this flu. Someone says, well, Billy, we don't know about it. That's right. And I don't get scared of things I don't know about. Okay? When I know about it and I get a better, I mean, my daughter just told me at dinner, there's so many cases in Italy and 15, it's 3% have died. Our flu is worse than 3%, I can tell you that right now. And more people are going to get our flu, I'll bet anybody, more people are going to get our flu this year and die from it than are going to get this disease. If anybody wants to bet me, we'll just bet an easy amount, like 10 grand or 100 grand. I'll bet you a million. I mean, you don't have a million dollars, probably. I would bet you that because it's not going to happen. It's it, it's just this, I believe this virus is central, Is 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 kept in China. Could other people spread it? Yeah, they can spread it. You can spread my podcast all over the internet, but you're not going to make it worldwide. You might have 600 people worldwide listening to it. You're not going to get it up to, I'm not going to get as much as the president of the United States. Okay. It's the same thing here. That's how I feel about it. Okay. As far as the stock market, this, look, Again, this is all, the the market ran up a little higher. We're right back to where we were in, in October. If you can buy the stocks that we've told you here, Altria, Viacom, Kraft, and Walgreens, you'll be fine. Those stocks will do fine. They're not influenced. One of my mentors, God rest his soul, told me, if you can't eat it, drink it, smoke it, you know what it, watch it, wear it, or bet on it, forget it. And those things are all covered. Nothing's, nobody's going to smoke less because of this virus. You're going to stay in the house. You're going to watch TV, which is Viacom. You're going to have Philadelphia cream cheese. You're going to have yourself a nice steak. And you're going to put, you're going to have fries. And you're going to use your Heinz ketchup. And you're going to put something on your steak. You're going to put Worcestershire. You're going to put uh, Heinz 57. You're going to put, 
you know, A1. That's what's going on, okay? Stick to the basics and you'll be fine. This is a lot of noise. I've been a professional investor for 26 years. I've been a gambler for over 50 years, and I know a scam when I see one, okay? This is all meant to scare the people. All the politicians, they were asking for billions of dollars. They want to try to blame Trump. The fact is, they got money from Ebola they haven't spent yet, okay? It's just, it's it's being kicked around like a political football, okay? Trump has tried to head it off at the past, but he can't, okay? This is bigger than Trump. Okay, the people that want to take our market down, Trump needs to talk to the plunge protection team. And if this thing gets out of hand, he'll have people stepping in. The plunge protection team is a group of bankers who, when they see the stock market gets undervalued because there's nefarious people shorting the market, they come in on the other side. Okay, kind of like a bunch of people trying to pick on your kid and then they realize that you're, you know, six foot seven brother-in-law who's an MMA fighter is going to come in and he's going to just change it around. Okay, so continue to stay the course. Keep rooting for our president. Keep, every time you see these fake ads, send the president $5. Everyone's asking me, what's the real website, Billy? You go to DonaldJTrump.com. You don't give them to the other people. You just go to DonaldJTrump.com. Give $5. Okay, it's not going to kill you. Give $5. You don't have to give Someone said, oh, I give $200 a check. You don't have to do that. Just give him a few dollars. Trust me. He's our last line of defense against socialism. Okay. The Dems are, I talked to an influential Democratic person, and they're, they're up in arms. They don't, they really don't know what to do. Half of them are mad at the leadership because, see, they're powerless. They can't, they don't have anybody to take the place. They've got two people that are in their 70s. One guy's a billionaire and he's got brains, but no personality. The other guy's got plugs in his hair and he's one of the dumbest people you'll ever speak to in your life. And his son and him could go to jail at any time because of all the illegal things they've done. Read Peter Schweitzer's book, okay? Just, this is a big scam. We're going to look back on this podcast and we're going to know that it's a big scam, okay? This is a big scam, and the faster you figure it out, the better off you'll be, okay? We know it. The other, the Dems don't know it. In a few months, this will be quiet. People say, would you let your kid go to Italy? Yes. The answer is yes, okay? I don't think that you're, my kid exercises. My kid washes their hands. I'm not worried about it. There's an inherent risk. I'm more worried about going to a party with a bunch of 80-year-olds, okay, this weekend. To be honest with you, now that I know what I know about the flu, okay, continue to get your rest, continue to do the right things, Read, go on the internet, see what it says to help you with your flu. I'm just telling you, wash your hands, get your sleep, okay, don't get tense about the stock market. The market's going to come back. Our economy's fine, okay? Some companies, if you have stock in a in, in an airline or a, a cruise ship it's not going to come back as fast it's just not but going the, the defensive stocks have been taken down with it and that's going to turn around okay just continue to stay the course we'll keep you up to date on what's going on here keep telling your friends about the truth machine please and watch the ads when you do this but more importantly send this link to people put it in your facebook groups I want to thank Georgia from Facebook putting it in all these different groups. I want to thank Davil for putting it in a a lot of groups. Get it out there and get it to everyone you know. So from behind the wheel of the truth machine, this is Bill Petrino asking you to sit back and enjoy the ride.